Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I have the latest Paper Craft Society box and this box is by me. So it seems really weird to say that. Um, those of you that have followed me for a while know that I was a subscriber to the box when it very, very first launched. And here I am now with my own kit and it's just a really surreal moment. It's just bizarre. So um, they've all gone out to everybody and uh, I've received so many lovely messages and comments from people saying how they love the box which I'm really pleased about so let's just dive in because <laughs> I have had a look and obviously of course I know what it is anyway but it's you know you see it on screens and you, you choose samples and things like that and then when you actually see it like this it's just it's just so different um, you'll see lots of the things that I like so we've got the holographic cardstock here which catches the light it's like the rainbow effect this beautiful polka dot it's just all those brights and lovely colors that I you know use regularly throughout my tutorials so this box I won't be getting rid of usually I just flat pack the boxes and I use them to post things to other people but this one I'm going to keep it um, now I will be doing three exclusive tutorials for all of the Paper Craft Society members so you will get that and I've also done the um, some of the inspiration in the booklet so you probably won't see me do a lot of this on my YouTube channel like I do with the other kits so um, because there are those exclusive ones already going out to other people but hopefully I'll be getting the Olga box soon because I haven't got that one yet and that was box nine so they are all up to date now as well so this is the time when you should usually get them within the first slightly maybe into the second week of the month is when the boxes arrive. So you open it up and inside it says here a colourful life is a happy life the brighter the better. That's me. If it's not bright, <laughs> I'm not happy. I just love colour. So um, let's go with the envelope first. Just pop that one to one side there. So here's the envelope and as I always say the patterns and the colours are an indication of the papers that are inside. So here is that envelope. We'll open it up. So here it says don't forget to share your makes with us hashtag papercraft society. And then inside here, so I've got, it's all about the detail. Add finishing touches with those smaller dies. And I was saying this, I think, I know I do, but those smaller dies sometimes get missed. And it's those that really do kind of finish things off. And you know, I love to build scenes and it's, it is all about the detail for me. I really enjoy those things. Then I've got here, um, sometimes more is better. Don't be afraid to go crazy with color. And in here it says, color your images and build your scene. So first of all, we've got the dies. Now, this kit will allow you to be able to make slider cards. And I show you exactly how to do them, and I'll show you some of the inspiration in a moment. So, uh, you know, it's really straightforward to do, but basically, this middle one here, this is your mechanism, okay? And it's that, that's the main piece that will give you that slider card, and you can do it on a six by six, five by seven, you know, even larger, it's entirely up to you. Then you've got all these frames here which will add to that. You've got this frame here which will die cut. In fact, if I bring the stamps out, I'll just pop them on the back of this copy paper here so you can see. So um, you've got this lovely bouquet here and that die will cut it out. You have the wand which will cut out the wand here. You have the, this here is the bottom of the stand <laughs> for the cake. So it's a two tier cake and you've got your cake stand there. You have your lollipop which all the candy cane. This is the lollipop, you've got a small one there. You've got your candles and you have the bow. Love that bow. And then this one here is your icing. So again, I'll show you the inspiration, but that fits perfectly in there and it can create the icing on your cake. You've got streamers, you've got the exclamation mark there because I've got yay for today. And you've got pull, just one more slice, another year, celebrate. And then these here will decorate the cake but you can also use them you know, as just nice borders. You've got a vase there, what else? I think that's everything. So yeah, really nice stamp set and that will all correspond with this. And this is the die that says yay as well. Because I say that a lot, yay. <laughs> so let's pop that back in because I've showed you the stamps now as well. Then onto the papers. So the papers are lovely. So you've got two in that stripe, two in the confetti two in this like, falling polka dots. Really nice, it's my favorite one, that's why it's gone onto the box. And then this one here, which is on the envelope here, and it's just the stripes with the stars, just really colorful, and um, everything matches with the cardstock, which I'll show you in a moment. And then onto here, these are your specialty papers. So you've guessed it, we have some silver 
sparkle card and this is non-shed so you don't need to worry about this going everywhere and then some holographic card <laughs> had to put it in it's just brilliant it's really really nice i like this one because it's almost stripy so yeah lots of fun with that one pop that all back in there so that's everything in your envelope okay let's now have a look inside here so we've got a lovely orange tissue paper Okay, so first of all we've got this rick rack trim that's a mouthful i've got this beautiful very vibrant yellow color and i just rather than just a standard ribbon i wanted to, to have something a little bit different and with you know more of a shape and this is really good for you know adding a trim onto your cards um, and again you'll see that in the inspiration how we've used it but it's really nice and you get a load on there it's quite a lot then we've got some rainbow sequins so there's loads of different colours in there. So you can pull out individuals or you can use them all together, you know, and make shaker cards and things like that. Then for the card, I very regularly, maybe a few times a week, people ask me how I, you know, match colours and how I choose colours. So I thought it'd be really handy to have a colour wheel on your card. So this is colour theory. And... Um, the way that I always remember and that I, I, I ask them to actually put that in here is opposites attract. So it says here, when choosing your colour schemes, opposites really do attract. Start with your chosen colour and consider various colour relationships as below. I, you know, I could go into this in a lot more detail, but this is just a very basic way. But basically, if you have a red, the opposite colour would work well with it. So it's saying here this real nice green colour. But different tones, so then when you go around here, you've got more of a, an orange red. That would work better with more of a teal green. And then you've got your purple here to the left. That goes better with more of a, a lime kind of green. So you do need to, you know, kind of look at the tone of the green that you have or the shade of the green. But it's um, just, if you start to think in your head, opposites attract and you have a colour wheel, it's really quite simple. And then once you get used to that, then you can start looking to it into more detail because also colours that are next to each other work. So you can see here, we've got this little grouping of the oranges. So they all work really nice together. Just like if you were to choose that segment there, they will all work well together. So it's a really handy card. I think a lot of you will find this really useful. And um, yeah, have a little look at this and uh, just keep it close by. And it should really help you when you come to do your coloring and just choosing your pattern papers and things like that. And then we've gone for colored pencils. Now I always use colored pencils and I think lots of people that follow me have started to enjoy coloring a bit more. And um, I don't know why I'm taking that off because you don't need to, <laughs> but um, rather than do the ink pads, you know, the ink cubes even, sorry, you can just, I think I'm already finding I've got quite a few similar greens and quite a few similar pinks and stuff. And I just thought rather than have more ink cubes, let's do some pencils. These kits are gonna be going for months and months and months. So you're gonna have plenty other options, you know, opportunities to get those cubes. But I just wanted something that you could have even more colors with. So colored pencils seemed a good choice. These are really nice. They are lovely to use. And um, again, hopefully once you start using them, do sharpen them, don't use them like this, resharpen them and then just kind of, you know, um, do a little test kind of color and then start using them. But um, yeah, they're really nice. You've got a nice variety of colors there and that pink is gorgeous. So um, yeah, that was my reasoning for the pencils. So hopefully you do enjoy using them. Um, you've got the nice little box there to keep them in. Otherwise you can just add them in with your others as well that you might already have. There's me, <laughs> really strange, seeing me on the front of the booklet there. And then you've got your coloured cardstock. So again, let's have a little look here. So this will match with the pattern paper. So you've got, these are your primary colours. You've got a lovely red, lovely green, purple, yellow. That's not quite primary, I know, and then the orange. But they're just, again, if actually when I look through my monitor they don't look as bright as they really are in real life they are just such fun colors so that's your card stock and then onto the booklet so there's me all happy on the front <laughs> and um, let's just go through it so there's a little um, contents there and then here is the contents of your box so you'll see everything that I've just showed you there. This is the main card. This is my favorite. I absolutely love this. If I just bring it up a bit, you can start to get an understanding. So this whole thing slides up. So this is all 3D and then it reveals your sentiment here. And that's on a six by six card. And I just think it's wonderful. And you can see there that rickrack trim. 
which is just used as a border there and you can see how it looks when it's flat it's a really fun very bright card you just see there my lighting and there's your pull tab at the top and then I give you step-by-step -step instructions there how to do that card and you can again see the the vibrant colors there with those colored pencils and the holographic card that I've used you see the yay there really fun this is another one this is on a five by seven and I've used that lovely bouquet of flowers coming out either sides and then I've just used like the sequins in the centres of the wands and also on the bottom here and then when you reveal this one it says celebrate and then you've got another year and then you've got the presents there and everything again lots of fun then there's a little Q&A five minutes with Sam and then a little peek in my craft room which has now changed <laughs> and then we've got here this is done by Emma so she's on the design team so she's done a gift bottle well it's a gift card and she's done it as a bottle um, tag <laughs> I'll just read what it says there and I think that's a great idea so that's the other idea is you have this die here with the little thumb pull there and you can pop a gift card inside and then this one here is also done by Emma so she's just done, you know, just ways to use those dies. So like the pocket and that, you don't always have to use it like that. And I love how she's used this really nice red with the cardstock there and um, using the, the dies. I think that looks really nice. And then, see, that's my latest collection. See everything there. And then this card. This has just been so popular. I thought it'd be really nice to do with the kit. And it's the swing card. So um, lots of you will be familiar with this and it just worked really well with this kit. Um, and you can see there how I've used it with the present and it just says another year and then yay for today inside. And you can see how it looks on the front there, really nice. Then I also done this gift tag. So you can have this hanging off of the side of a gift bag or a gift box, it's entirely up to you. Or you could have it as a smaller card. And again, you can see where we've used the Rick Rack ribbon, trimmed it along the bottom here and then I've used that lovely vase rainbow of flowers you know rainbow color of flowers there um i just i thoroughly enjoyed it and you know i'm completely biased but it really was just so much fun to create with because it's just so bright you know and um if that's the kind of thing you like then this kit's going to be right up your street um then we've got this one here which is by carol so she's on the design team as well really nice I like the way that she's used the silver card there and the confetti it's really nice to see other people's take and what they do with the kit. So, and then this one, I like this that's been done again. Is this, yeah, this is by Carol and she's done a wreath and I wouldn't have thought to have done that, but I really like that effect. And there's no reason why you couldn't use that as a Christmas card. You know, those could be, you know, put onto, you know, a, a different color cardstock or something. I think it'd look great. And she's actually wrote on the bunting. Again, I didn't think to do that. So it's, it's really nice to see how other people, you know, use your, your kind of ideas and, and create different cards. And then there, that's the end. And there's my top five products, which I always use. So um, yeah, it was, it's been an absolute joy doing this. Um, and like I said, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed seeing um, and reading the comments that people have been you know sending me about receiving theirs and I know some of you are still waiting and some of you that are outside of the UK hopefully you don't have too long to wait I really do hope that it does arrive to you quite soon okay so that is this month's kit I hope you've enjoyed it I love it <laughs> and um, yeah it's just been an absolute joy to do so I think I believe this one did sell out so what I'll do is I'll share the links below because sometimes they do have some that come on later on i don't know whether they hold maybe some back i'm not sh sure how it works but just click on that link and you can go and check it out anyway but if you if you'd like to join the papercraft society or just find out a bit more there's a there's three different options on how you can pay you can do monthly quarterly six monthly and yearly actually so there's, there's four different payment options and um, you can dip in and out as well but you have to cancel each time but you can just you know see which one's coming next subscribe for that one cancel afterwards and then wait and see if if the next one you like or not so you don't have to have it so that you receive every single one and it's always a different designer every month um, I know we do rotate some of them around but more and more people are starting to be introduced to the papercraft society now in terms of designers so hopefully you'll see some more familiar faces in the coming months so thank you for watching all the links will be shared below and I'll be back again very soon bye